Hello you lovely lovely people, this is Harcourt Blello and I am Michael Boardman. I have not just said a lot of stuff to a camera that was not recording. I swear. I s swear on nothing because they'll just die. So yeah, I'm not sure where this... Now I've got to remember every single word that I said because what I said was quite entertaining. Fuck's sake. Yeah. So Saturday... I went on a little bit of a journey over to Cambridge and they had a huge beer festival going on. Uh, camera beer festival, camera I support them thoroughly. The... Hell, I'm wearing a t-shirt. I really like real ales because I think the only thing that is British anymore. That'll probably get me into trouble. I had a problem with my audio recording, so that's why there are no interviews, sadly. Next time, we'll see what happens. This is just testing at the moment. Camera, great cause. Go check them out. I'm hoping to do a proper length documentary, well, my 20 minute proper length documentary about the Bedford in September. So, fingers crossed on that. I thought I'll show off a few of my goodies I got whilst I was at the Cambridge Beer Fest. So you might have seen this in the documentary, although there was two different versions of it, so you probably didn't see this as Act 1. But, ah, uh, there you are. £2.50 for your glass and the unique glasses and the change every single year. It's a solid day out. You pretty much get a free glass. Well, it was the 40th, so there's a little cake and barrel and stuff, it was pretty cool. They also have a tombola which you can see in the little, is it a documentary? I don't know. It was just images put to music. It felt like a good idea. Uh, so yeah, I did the tombola. I won a few bits and bobs. Beer, bed and breakfast. Very good order. Giggity. To be fair, if I'm going through all these documentaries, this is going to be very useful at picking out a decent place to go sleep. Let's see, Surrey. The Hedgehog Inn? The Hedgehog Inn. The Hedgehog Inn. I bet there are a bunch of pricks there. I'm being funny, not rude. Also on that tombola, got a nice beer mat, pretty nice. I've never actually heard of that beer company or that brewery, so I'm gonna have to check those out. I'll give a review of them as well on a later Thing. Don't worry, not all my videos are going to be about drinking, probably. But yeah, Castle Rock, Northampton, not Northampton, Nottingham. Nottingham, not nothing. <laughs> yeah, you get the general idea there. Also, won myself another glass. I'm not sure, can you see that? But, there you go. That's the glass. Now I'm going to have to reopen those blinds so you can see me again. But who wants to see me? I'm an ugly fat c That's probably a strong word. I'll have to beep. But yeah, pretty nice glass. Weird image on it. I know I recognise it from somewhere. It's like an imp or I've seen it on bottles of beers and stuff before. Hello, welcome back. Yes, that was a nice jump cut, wasn't it? And the clever ones among you might have noticed I'm suddenly wearing headphones. How this is going to work, there's going to be a link there in a couple of seconds. You click that link, I'll count to three, and then I'll start commentating. That link will open up in another window, you'll be able to watch the 40th Cambridge Beer Festival video thing I made listen to me commentate at the same time, so click here. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. Yeah, so I filmed this all the way on my walk towards Cambridge Beer Festival. I did have a little bit of a wander around, got some nice shots. Uh, yeah, this isn't really going to work because I cut this quite fast. Yeah, jolly make peace. Interesting enough name, I suppose. If you didn't notice that all the pints are pulled by the same guy in this. 
I think. Basically, it was the only time I could actually get the shots in was around this guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a dizzying shot, but I thought it made sense dizzying because it was a Disney dizzying array of drinks available. You know, I don't think I got it in this, but the tent which the beer festival's held in is colossal. Seriously, it was a good minute walk from one end of the tent to the other. At least a minute anyways. Probably like three minutes if you have to include dodging all the traffic in between. Uh, yeah, and that was all lined up with beers, different ales from around the country and stuff. And then they had mead and wine and stuff. See, that was the other glass. That was probably my dad's glass or my sister's. And keep on going. Oh, natural. That's that's to go with. That was part of the poster that you see at the end of the video. I just thought it was cute to stick it at the end. Natural ale. Sounds pretty darn good. It's surprising how many people just stare at the sodden camera as you're walking around. But fair enough. People will do what they want. The music was an odd choice. I found the free music website and I was just looking for just random bits of music so I can start editing to music because that's what I'm really good at. So this is both me just showing it off and everything else. And there's my pretty gob. Yeah, still need to work that last little click here bit out stuff. Hey, all done. Cheers for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the commentary, my general rambling. Uh, small update to the channel I'm pushing to do every other day a new video. So, keep watching, keep subscribing, keep sharing with your friends. I will do a special video at 25 subscribers. And I will do an extra special video at 2,000 views. Slowly getting there, but share with your friends, we'll get there sooner. Alright, thanks. Yeah. Alright, cheers for watching. Um, hmm, that's good coffee.